Hello and welcome to CAD Chaos. I'm your host Michael Smith and today I'm just answering a real quick question that was posted by a person here called MCBOBMC1 asking, hey I saw your model color and appearance explained video and they wanted to know how to create a color gradient from one color to another. So I figured I already had the software open and I was just a few clicks from making a video. So here is that result. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to open up uh, Hey, how about a backlight project because that's what I'm working on. Check out my channel for more of the episodes going on with that. Now if I wanted to create a gradient to this, there's a couple of different ways. First I'd probably come over here to appearances and scenes and I'd come down to miscellaneous just to see what there is. Now there is a neon stripe to pattern. Now I could take this and drag it onto my part. Based on the hierarchy here, I'm just going to go to the entire part. And then I'm going to come over here to appearances. Use the little fly out. Right click there, go to appearances. And let's see here. Hmm. Well, let's try color. And red. Well, I mean that's kind of kind of what I was looking for. But let's say you wanted something a little bit better. You had a real custom look that you were going for. Well, I got a trick for you. I opened up a program here called GIMP. It's free and you can use it to make images and stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a gradient JPEG. So I'm going to come over here to File, New. Yeah, that'll work just fine. And I'm going to come over to the Gradient Tool. I'm going to select one that I like. Ooh, there we go. Drag that across the screen. So I created a JPEG. I'm going to save that out. So now that I've created a JPEG, maybe I found this or just created it myself. Watch this. You can just drag that right on there. Boom. Go to appearances. Now I can come over to mapping and I could change how this works on the part, how it's actually going to be applied. There's a couple different styles here. Surface mapping, going to try to follow the surface of the part. Uh, planar mapping, which is going to be front, top, left, right. A sphere, which is going to try to wrap it around your project here. And you can play around with these to get different effects. It's just how it's going to try to wrap that texture that you've applied, which I guess is technically what it would be. But in this case, my first case worked out just fine. And I just stretch it out large enough to cover the whole part. And there you have it. And that opens up a cool new amount of uh, things that you can do with colors and appearances within SOLIDWORKS when you get into creating your own custom JPEGs, textures, and whatnot. So, I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and maybe I'll make a video reply to your question. And thanks for watching.